Hey, what's up everyone? How's everyone feeling today? This is Amar Perry back at you with another video. And today's video, I wanna talk about, you know, some creative ways that you can go out there and purchase properties uh, in today's economy. Uh, number one creative way is seller financing. There's a lot of sellers out there that don't have a lot of equity. They don't have a lot of equity or maybe they're not motivated to sell their property at a 40 or 50 cent on the dollar. So what you do is you go in and you offer them, you know, let's say if they, the property is worth a uh, hundred thousand and they owe 80 on it, you know, you could just tell, and if they're motivated, you could just tell them like, Hey, look, you know, I, I will take over the existing loan of your mortgage. Uh, and, and that's one of the ways you can get involved in a deal and you can have them pay like two months in advance to where you could start marketing the house to get a qualified buyer on a lease option. So that's one way is really seller financing. And that's a way that you can get into the deal with no money. You just got to find a motivated seller, even if they don't have a lot of equity, just find someone uh, when you're doing your marketing. And if they have a little bit of equity there, then that's fine. Even if they don't have equity, that's fine as well, because you're going to get money from the lease option buyer, which will be a down payment uh, money in the middle in the process of renting and rent to own. And also on the back end, if there's any spread on the back end, you know, you could just get maybe two ways or three ways. So that's number one is seller financing. The, uh, the second one is lease options. You could do a soundless lease option where if the seller doesn't want to give you the deed, if they don't trust you with the deed, then they'll do a lease option with you. And what happens is, is you'll put the property on the contract with the seller on the lease option and then you'll market it to another buyer, which will be another lease option buyer. So basically you're playing it as a sandwich lease option. You're basically just playing the middle. Like I got the terms with the seller. Here's all the terms with the seller. And then I'm gonna go out there and re-sign my contract over to a, a tenant buyer to where I can get the spread between the down payment, the purchase price, and also the monthly rents. So that's another way you could go out there and do a sandwich lease option. And there's a lot of sellers out there that's looking for that. If they don't want to give you the deed, they maybe want to do like a rent to own with you. So that's the way you could do it. A sandwich lease option or a straight lease option. You can wholesale the lease option. You could put the property on the contract as a lease option. And then what you do is you sell it to an investor as a fee, you know? So that's what you do. You may anywhere five to $10,000 off those fees. So sandwich lease option, is another way. Uh, the third way will be wholesaling. Wholesaling, uh, most of a lot of individuals that's doing real estate know about wholesaling. That's where a lot of individuals start out at. They start out at wholesaling and basically what you do is you just put a property on the contract and you just assign that property over. You could do assignment fees or you could do double closings, depends on, depend on if your title company understands double closings. Some don't, some do. Uh, you can also charge a feed. That's another way as well, you know, where if you're going to do a wholesale deal and maybe you're not confident enough to put it on a contract, maybe just put in a fee agreement together. Say, hey, look, you know, I'm going to charge you, you know, 2% buyer's fee on the purchase price. Uh, they can give you a nice fee. So that's another way that you can actually uh, get a profit off, off a deal as well with no money. Because really, when, when, I ha when I talk about no money down into real estate, what I'm meaning is there's always going to be money that's required to buy real estate. There's always going to always going to have to have money to require it, but it doesn't have to be your money is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you don't have to think about this like, okay, where do I need to get the money to just get myself started? You can get started in this with no money and you could do this on apartment buildings, self storages, office buildings, rental properties, land. You could do it on anything. You can wholesale anything on any real estate you can wholesale. I didn't seen if I haven't experienced, I know people that has experienced it and you can wholesale anything. You just got to know how to put the numbers together and bring a buyer to the table to where the buyer will come, the buyer will conversate you either through a wholesale transaction or, or, or a buyer's feed or a consultant feed, but you can find ways to get these deals done. You just got to find a good opportunity. That's really what it boils down to. So, you know, if you're out there right now and you're questioning like, how can I get started in real estate, but I don't have any money? Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't need money. You just probably have to get yourself educated and then go take the actions necessary. Now, keep in mind when you get yourself educated and you take the action necessary, there's going to be some things that you didn't learn through, you know, the program or whatever mentorship you have. 
you didn't you maybe didn't learn those. It's just the experience. You know, always remember that wisdom is knowledge plus experience. You have to get the knowledge, go out there and go experience it, and then you have the wisdom and understanding of how to put these deals together. So that's all I got for today. I just want to shoot this real quick video. And if you haven't already, if you like these videos and if you can relate to this channel and what I'm sharing with you, uh, hit that notification button, like, and subscribe to my channel. And let's make it a blessed day and I will see you on the other side. Peace.